fourth graders. Today we are going to do a STEM activity. Our STEM activity still deals with decimals. So our I can statement is still about decimals. Today our I can statement is I can order four decimals from least to greatest. And your materials you will need for this STEM activity is a stopwatch, various building materials, a ball or marble, paper, and a pencil. Let's see what is your challenge. You are to create a racetrack for a marble or a ball. You can use any materials you have in your house, various materials, cardboard, empty toilet paper or paper towel rolls, construction paper, pool noodle, linking blocks, wooden blocks, clay, paper plates, paper, popsicle sticks, plastic utensils, tape, pretty much anything you can think of, anything that you're allowed to put, to take, to cut up and to glue or tape together, go ahead and use it. Make sure you ask permission that we're not cutting up something valuable. All right, so now we're going to take a look at what your projects could look like. So it would be great if you are to be creative, but if you're stuck for ideas, here's a few examples. So here are some. Here are some more. So really, you could use any materials you have on hand. And here are some more. Examples. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to use a stopwatch, and it can be a real one one on your phone or one that you find online to record the amount of time it takes for the marble or ball to complete the course. You're going to conduct four trials, which means you're going to do this four times. You're going to then, once you've recorded all four times, you're going to write your times in order from fastest to slowest and be sure to use decimal numbers. So here's a picture of a stopwatch time that I found online. So it says three seconds, 28. So as we write this, we would write three and 28 hundredths seconds using that decimal point. All right, so here is an example. So here are the times that my marble took to go through the racetrack I created. Then I, just, I lined up all of my numbers so I could easily decide which number was the fastest, which one was the slowest, and put them in order from fastest to slowest. So if I look, all of my numbers in the ones place are the same. They're all ones. They all have a decimal. So my next place I'm going to look is the tenths place. Here I have two numbers with a three and two numbers with a four. I'm looking for the fastest or the number that is the least, so I know I want to work with my threes. Well, these two threes are the same, so then I have to move to the hundredths place. In the hundredths place, this first number has a, has a seven, the second one has a six, so I know six is less than seven, so this is my fastest time, one in 36 hundredths is my fastest time that will go first. One in 37 hundredths is my second fastest time that will go second. Now I have to figure out which one is my slowest and which one will go third. So now I see that these two numbers both have a four in the tenths place. So I have to move to the hundredths place. Well here, this number didn't have a number in the hundredths place. But I know I can add this zero as a trailing zero, which gives it no value. And I add it to the end of a number as a trailing zero. It has no value. It's more like a placeholder. Just so instead of looking at it as a four, I can look at it as a 40. So now I have a digit in that hundredths place. So when I compare a two to a zero, it's easier for my brain to understand that than it is for a two to a blank block. So all this is is basically a placeholder showing me that there are zero hundredths. So I have my two in the hundredths place or a zero. Where zero is less than two, so my one and four tenths will come next. And then my slowest time or my greatest number is one and forty-two hundredths. All right, so let's see. So here they are writ written in order from fastest to slowest. So fastest means that is the number that is the smallest. It took the least amount of time to go through. Slowest is the greatest number. It means it took the longest to go through. All right, so there's our example. And now what I would love for you to do is to share your work on a flip grid. So you should have ordered your numbers your, from least to greatest. There should be four. And it would be great if you could show your chart or however you ordered them, and also the creation you made, your racetrack. And here is the QR code for the Flipgrid and also the web address. 
So you can use e either of those to show your four decimal numbers from least to greatest or fastest to slowest, and also your racetrack. So thank you for participating today, and I hope that you have fun and you learn something new.